Well, you've heard the saying, someone's trash is another's treasure, and no one knows that more than our next guest. She is DIY blogger Carla Holly from Small Town Rambler. Welcome to the Hi, show. Thank you. Yeah, you have a really cute project to share with us. Tell us a little bit about it. Well, this was a roadside find that we found in our neighborhood. My daughter and I, we rescued it from the rain and just brought it in and made a, a fun project. And it's a desk for everyday use that um, that she can use for multi-purpose, actually. And um, it's very cute. You know, some people when they drive by and they see something like this, uh, they would just you know drive on by. What? Why did you think this had potential? Well, it's a cute piece, and I thought it would be fun for my daughter to have plus a project for us to do together with the stencils and paints and just make it fun for her. Yeah, good point. Okay, so what did you do? What are the first steps that you did for this? Well, first I. Just scuffed the surface with some sandpaper, just okay. to, to so the paint would adhere. And then I, I started with this bright um, blue color. Mm -hmm. from okay. Carolina. And what's, it, what's special about this? Well, it's primer and paint in one. Nice. So your primer is covered, and I just sprayed the entire surface, including the desktop, with that. Okay. Paint. All right. And then that was the first step. And then what did you do? Then we got the stencil out, and my daughter actually took this part over. This is the polka dot stencil that I just secured with um, painter's tape. Uh huh. And I squeezed out each of these colors onto um, a paper plate and just let her randomly choose. Just let her have, yeah. have fun with it, really. And that's all you really need to do. So you just went, and what kind of paint is this? This is the Martha Stewart craft paints. Um, I bought everything at Michael's. So. Okay. And, and then the Martha Stewart, why did you, did, is it just such a neat color or? Yeah, I like the colors and um, it was on sale at Michael's. So. <laughs> Even better. Yes. You, you save some money. I love it. Okay, so use that for the polka dot part. And right. And then what is this? This is the chalkboard paint. So after I sprayed the desk, I, I just um, brushed that right on. And you won't use a lot for this project, which is good because you'll have plenty on hand mm -hmm. to refresh the top. Um, you're going to get nicks and scratches with everyday use, so yeah. I've actually added a couple layers of this paint, and it just it goes right on, and you have a fresh surface. Okay, so I have a couple pictures that I want to share of the process of you guys doing this together. If we could share those, so there's your daughter, yes, literally putting the the stencil down on the chair, right, putting the colors in, mm -hmm. and then. And that's really all it, it was, right? Yes. Um, I do recommend that you let the paints dry before moving the stencil so you don't smudge the paint. So okay. it was a little bit of patience and waiting, but um, worth it, of course. So. Yes. <laughs> okay. And then let's take a look at the, the final look here. It is super cute. And then, of course, on the top here, you have the chalkboard. Right. So you can do any kind of drawing you want. Yeah. She did, she did that today for, the, for Valentine's Day. So <laughs> it is really, really cute. And then, yeah, underneath. I mean, it's funny because you saw potential in this, and I would have, like I said, driven right on by. I said, that's, <laughs> that's junk. It's not going to work. All right. All right. So if people want more information on some of the projects that you've done yeah. and on this step-by-step -step instructions, they can go to your blog, right? Right. At smalltownrambler.com. Yes. Okay. Sorry, All right. So if you want more information, smalltownrambler.com for more information. All Thank right. you so Thank much. You. We appreciate it. All right.